Hi guys, so I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update of what I've been up to. I think the last time I vlogged was maybe Saturday, could have been Friday, I can't remember. I guess I'll find out when I edit. Anyway, um, I... Where am I going to start with this? Like, we're getting married next year. So obviously I want to... I want to get the mentality of not so much lose weight because if I'm doing strength workouts I'm probably going to put on muscle and muscle will waste more than fat like everyone's seen those images where you know what I'm talking about anyway um but we've got a wedding to go to in a couple of months um end of March so yeah literally a couple of months um so I'm trying to slim down a little bit so I've I don't know if, if you guys have heard of Kayla it's seen this before but about two years ago I bought her bikini body guide and I did it for about nine months properly like I was doing her workouts are quite intense there you get four different exercises to do and a certain amount of time a certain amount of reps to do them and you have seven minutes to do them in like as many as you can um so yeah I did that for nine weeks literally have three weeks of the program to go and I was like no nah, this is too hard for me um, so then I also bought the, it comes with a pre-training guide, so I told myself maybe I'm not quite fit enough, so I'll do the pre-training. Um, so then I did the pre-training and I made it up to week 8, so including the pre-training it was 12 weeks, so I had 4 weeks left and decided no, it's not for me. Um, and then I think I took a break from exercising for a bit. And then years ago, I was doing Blogilates on YouTube, and she came out with her own workout guide called Pit. I think it's Pilates Interval Training, something P I I T. Pilates Intense Interval Training, I think it's like Hit, but Pilates. Um, and so her workouts are a little less intense. They're seven minute workouts as well. You do them four times as well. Um, but you get seven different workouts. You do them 45 seconds on and then 15 seconds off. Um, which I found a lot more tolerable. Like I made it, up, but I only made it through a month. Mainly because the programs are set out for a month. And then you repeat it again. And you go on to pit two. And then you repeat that again. So it ends up being like a six month program. Um... But yeah, I made it through the first round and I was like, oh, I'm quite proud of myself because I made it through the first round and then I took a break and never really got back into it properly. But that one, while less intense, you have to do it every day. You get one rest day a week. Um, and the BBG guide is every second day is a list. So it's low intensity. So it's almost like having a rest day every second day because you're not doing strength workouts. Um, I think that's better for me because so I've tried to restart so many times and the first workout is I wonder if I've got it here actually I do the first workout is legs and cardio this is the pre-training I wrote it out because I have it on my phone um, but then my timer is my phone so it's just easy this way the, the first one is legs and cardio because I've restarted so many times I've overdone that workout I think and so like my legs don't really they're a little sore when I do them but they're not entirely sore so yesterday I decided to change it up and I'd made my first workout arms and abs and now my arms and abs are killing like it's I am I'll show you I've been leaning my arm on this because I just I can't hold my arm up and every time I laugh because my abs are in so much pain now it actually really hurts so I try to limit my laughing um but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. And then I'm also drinking my Bondi Protein Co. Protein Shake. I actually went out and bought the chocolate one yesterday. Because I... Like, I vlogged the other day that I had the strawberry one at Brendan's. Um, but yeah, I keep that at Brendan's. And I can't bring a whole big... I'll show you guys the jar again. I can't keep lugging one of these around with me everywhere I go. Especially because... I don't know why, but I don't feel comfortable keeping protein in the car, especially on a hot day. So I decided to get another one for home for, like yesterday I did a workout and I didn't have protein because I didn't have this. I think I've got a, one of those sachet packets of the strawberry one left, but yeah. 
So now I have chocolate at home and strawberry at Brennan's. But I think they're, they're kind of designed as meal replacement as well. But I love my food so much. I can't bear to part with a meal. I mean, for years I haven't been having breakfast. So I can't. Yeah, I'm just used to not eating it anyway so but then I can't replace my lunch because like today I worked 11 no 7.45 to 11.45 I don't get a break at work for that so I come home and I'm super hungry so I tend to eat I can't just oh I'll just have a shake for lunch it doesn't work like that for me oh talking to my arm was sore this has turned out to be a very long chat but yeah I just thought I'd give you guys an update I'm working towards slimming down for a wedding that's not mine. <laughs> I just want to look good. The wedding's for um, one of Brendan's supervisors, so just want to look good in front of people that I don't know so I can impress them. That's not shallow at all. Um, but yeah, I'm for lunch. It's left over from yesterday. Um, we had tuna steak. I've got my shake and I'll be watching some Brooklyn Nine-Nine because that's my go-to show at the moment. I'm going to be sad because I've been watching it on Netflix. They've only got the season 4 and I found out what happens in season 5. So now I'm annoyed because season 5, like they took forever to put season 4 on Netflix. So I think it's going to be forever. I just realised this mark on my arm looks really weird. It's not track marks, it's eczema. I just get really bad. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I don't know if we're doing anything interesting. Other than me cooking dinner. But yeah. Bye. Uh, so after that little rant I had this morning. Oh, this morning, a couple of hours ago. Um, just on my way out to run a couple of errands that I was supposed to do yesterday. But I left around this time yesterday. I ran out of time. But there's only a couple of things to do. So I figured I'd do that. And then I'm going to go over to Brendan's. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, we've, we're meal, uh, yeah, meal planning, so we're trying to eat healthily, so, um, we're just going to plan our meals for the week, and rather than, because our big thing was, oh, what do we feel like, and we've decided half an hour before we want to eat, so most of the time we were just like, oh, let's just chuck a bag of chips in the oven, not particularly healthy, so, yeah, we're planning our meals, and we're not allowed to, well, after that, we're not allowed to deviate it from, from it. So if I, I've told Brendan yesterday, I'm gonna like decide what meals we're cooking on Saturday. I'm gonna let him go through it on Sunday, and he has, if he has any disagreements, let me know. Then I can change it. If not, that's what. They're the meals he's stuck with for the week, um, and that includes like leftovers for lunches. I just realised I need this arm to put my other one. Anyway, so that's it. Um, the errands I'm running, I guess I can tell you guys now because hopefully by the time this vlog goes out, I will have done it already. Um, I'm getting the last minute bits for my bridesmaid proposals, which I probably should have done last year. So I could actually get my bridesmaid to help <laughs> with planning and stuff for now. But yeah, so I think the last bits I need are a bottle of... I'm going for pink Moscato I think because I know well I know I like it mainly because it's like sweet and it's pink um and I wanted to get ring pops and I just need something for the flower girl as well like a replacement for the drink um but yeah that's it and I'll see you guys later bye <sighs> so it's currently 4.56 oh no according to my phone it's not I'm gonna try that again there you go um, a bit gutted. Sorry, I'm a bit sweaty. It's just really hot today. It's 33 degrees. Um, yeah, so I said earlier that I was going to go out to run a few errands to do the bridesmaid proposal. Um, really the only thing I needed, I can't remember if I said this or not, really the only thing I needed was the ring pops. And yesterday I went to a big W, today I went to a big W, they both didn't have them. Thank God for my best friend because I called Armadale, which is down her way. It's a bit of a trek for me. Um, but she is going to go pick them up for me. She doesn't know why. She may know why because, let's be honest, why else would I want ring pops? And I asked for five, so. Um, 
but yeah so i'm gonna go pick them up from her tomorrow after work and then hopefully this weekend and like the side next week i'll be able to give them out and then i can probably start getting things organized for the wedding because i brendan's taking the stance where he wants to get married but he's not really bothered by the details he's all like just do whatever you want to do and i'll be happy with it so I'm pretty much planning by myself. So it'd be great to have a bridesmaid's opinions there. Um, but I can't really ask for their opinions if they don't know they're a bridesmaid. But they, they all pretty much know. It's just a formality for me because I want to do this. But yeah, so I've got dinner in the oven. It's a really simple dinner. I don't think I mentioned what we were doing. Um, but yeah, so... We were trying to eat healthily or like, you know, meal prep. It's not, tonight's dinner's not particularly healthy. Um, I had some leftover potatoes, so, but there wasn't enough to do a decent amount of mash because we need enough for dinner tonight and both our lunches tomorrow. Not enough potatoes to do mash, so, well, I mean, like, we like mash, so we need quite a few potatoes. So I've just roasted them and the protein is pork. So I just made a little marinade with ketchup manners, some garlic powder, salt, pepper, and some garlic salt. Um, and so it's pretty much a tray bake. Which is the best kind because I this th these are the dishes for tonight. A cutting board, a peeler, two knives, tongs, and two bowls. Um, and then like, you know, forks or whatever that we're going to eat with. Because we're just going to eat off the tray. And then we're going to put enough away for lunch tomorrow and obviously that's tomorrow's dishes so yeah um but yeah Brenda's not home yet because I thought I cut my errand short because I thought he'd be home I forgot he took the train today so now I'm just gonna wait for him it's quite hot in here I might go outside for a bit but yeah I'm just gonna edit as well and I'll see you guys later tonight bye so I haven't started editing yet and while the dinner is in the oven, I just wanted to show you guys what I bought. So, um, I don't know if you guys would have seen, but on Instagram everyone's been going on about these knot cushions and I finally got one. I'm so excited. Um, I've been looking for them at Kmart yes, uh, last week at two different Kmarts. Then have them and I finally got them here. So excited. Um, and the other thing I wanted to, so that was yesterday, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is this so everyone oh well, not everyone most people have heard of the spicy ramen challenge we love like spicy food so i want to see how we're gonna go with it so i bought two i was gonna buy just like these packaging ones and you like you know stick them in the pot um i looked at what this word means mala i think it was a korean word because well they're korean noodles um it's something like like the sauces from a certain province in China so I'm like oh well I'm Chinese let's give that a go so I don't know how spicy that's going to be but we'll give it a go and then I think this is the one that everyone's been using so I just thought it would be easier in a pot so we're going to give that a go I did message some friends and ask them if they want to try it but I only bought two so Brendan has food <laughs> how rude I'm cooking dinner <laughs> um yeah, so I've asked Brendan what he wanted to do and he goes, oh, we should give it a go first and then try it with them. Might be a better idea in case I embarrass myself. Yeah, so just in case I can. You can't handle it. Oh, yeah, handle sure. It. He says he can handle it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I figured the cup one would be easy to use. I mean, that's why, like, I've watched them on YouTube and a lot of people say they're easier because, well, there's nothing to clean up afterwards. Yeah. So anyway. I'm gonna go back to editing and I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, so I just wanted to explain why I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, and I think normally on that Friday I wouldn't vlog. Like I worked in the morning and then I had the rest of the day off. Normally it's a midday shift but it was Australia day. Um, and I was gonna vlog it because the plan was to go for a bike ride just to either, my plan was like the foreshore well, Brendan's idea was to get some bike training in and go to this park we call the Super Park. It's really far away and it's really hilly to get there, so I'm just glad we didn't go. Don't tell him that. Anyway, I want to now explain why I'm going to be blinking a lot today. Um, I got home at 1 o'clock this morning from Brendan's 
and a normal person would have gone to bed straight away like you know brush your teeth whenever I had a shower there it's currently 7 23 but I was up until three o'clock this morning because today I'm finally doing my bride pay proposal I mean for two of them because um, two of them aren't here um so if you guys remember from Ebony's 21st I bought these three wooden crates to hold up the boards um, I didn't want to buy something that was just going to lie around and I knew I wanted boxes for the project proposal so they're the ones I'm using. I mean there's, there's no damage or chocolate marks or anything on them so they're all good. Um, I'll just show you guys what I've done. Here's the box and I bought some of this shredded paper from Spotlight and just kind of put new stuff down the bottom just to just give it some volume. Um, this is Crystal's one because I'm doing it like as soon as I finished gonna finish vlogging this little section I'm gonna go see her because she's going out today and I want it done today so this is her card I'm asking her to be my maid of honor so I got this card off of Etsy and you can choose different colors that the right is in I chose rose gold so I did make a mistake while writing this I wrote it in a gold pen to begin with and then I realized well initially I chose let me backtrack a second I chose gold because I also bought this glass off of Etsy and it's got all their names on it it's not focusing on um and this is written in gold but then when I held it against the card I was like no that looks funny so I changed it um and then I also got them all a bottle of there's a little 200ml bottles of pink Moscato um a ring pop because I saw these things about he popped a question, now it's my turn. So, they've all got a ring pop each. I also got the flower girl ring pop. I actually haven't finished the flower girl one. And I think I just need a pop top. Because she obviously can't drink wine. Um, and then I've got these little baggies. And the baggies are actually from Daiso. A couple of years ago now. Daiso, we don't have in Perth. So, all my Daiso stuff is Singapore, Malaysia. Mainly Malaysia. I've got little jelly bellies in there. So... Yeah, it seems not much, but I think because the box is so big. But yeah, I'm going to go do that now. I want to vlog the reactions. It's so stupid though, because she knows I'm going to ask her. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to try and vlog it. We'll see how it goes. You guys will find out if I like the footage or not. If not, it's obviously not going to be in it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. So, I'm actually quite nervous asking, and I don't know why. She's my best friend and she knows, but I'm just like, oh my god, what if she says no? Um, but yeah, I don't know how I'm going to handle carrying camera, locking my car, and carrying the present, so here we go. So I just wanted to quickly vlog. I vlogged this morning and I haven't picked up the camera since. Um, yeah, I haven't been up to much which is why I didn't pick up the camera. Uh, today was a chill out at home and have a really long nap kind of day. Um, and we're just playing some computer games and Wii U games. Not particularly interesting so I'm not going to vlog it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to end the night. Um, and just a little update on the bridesmaid proposal thing. I had a terrible time trying to vlog Crystal, giving Crystal my best friend, um, her box because the doorbell didn't work. <laughs> so I was fumbling around and in hindsight I should have brought my tripod out so I could hold it like that. But yeah, so that didn't work out. Um, and then I gave Brendan's sister Crystal her one and I didn't attempt to vlog that because of what a fail this morning was. So, two down, two to go, plus the flower girl. But yeah. Anyway, hopefully I'll be vlogging tomorrow. We're thinking of going on a bike ride again. So, I will might see you guys tomorrow.